Let's make these look like these. Hi, welcome. I work with SVG vector files. You can see the ending by showing file name extensions. Might be looking like that for you. And I use Inkscape with these so I can open them and wait for a few seconds and then I can see them. Or I can create a shortcut to ink view and drag the files on there. Also it takes a little bit. But just like I can preview images like photos and PNG files in Windows Explorer, I would like to do the same with SVG files. Thankfully, we can do so with the SVG Explorer extension. Link is in the description of this video. Simply click on the releases header to the right. Scroll down. Pick 32 or 64 bit version. This is very important. I don't think 32 will work on 64. Yes, x86 is the same as 32 bit. If you are not sure if your Windows version is 64 or 32 bit version, right click Start, go to System, and check System Type. 64 bit version in my case. The download is starting. Other browsers have a download section at the top right. In Firefox, for example, the section is over here. And you can also go to Show All Downloads. Sometimes GitHub downloads can be a bit slow, so you can just cancel and restart. But I already did that, so this time it's going quicker. Alright, to find the file, just click the arrow and show in folder. Simply double click the exe file, the SVG CX64 installer setup file. Confirm. Accept the agreement. It's open source. The default install location is just fine. Less than 40 megabytes of space needed. Confirm again. It will install any needed Microsoft Visual C++ redistributables. And it will finish and it will work immediately. Three out of four SVG files say yes. What is up with this one? Ah yes, I remember that. The cool interesting thing about this one was that it is animated. So that's probably the reason why only like the first layer of the first frame or something is rendered. Quite an odd rare case, but it works perfectly for the other three. I can delete this file now. Have fun with your SVG files feeling more at home in Windows now. Till next time, ciao!